Hey guys, so this is my summery look that I used the Inglot Blue Liner and the Jeffree Star Doll Parts Liquid Lipstick. And this look is so summery and amazing and I absolutely love it. I hope you love it as much as I do. And yeah, just keep watching if you want to see how to do this look. Okay, so I'm first going to start off with the Laura Mercier primers in Hydrating and Radiance. This is really going to give a glow to the face and it's going to look absolutely beautiful. Then I'm going to use the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This used to be one of my favorite foundations back in the day and I recently got a new one so I'm really happy about that. And I'm going to blend that all over my face with a beauty blender. Then I'm going to color correct my under eyes because I got some dark circles and I need to hide my deepest darkest secrets under my eyes. So I'm going to use the Pixie Corrector in Brightening Peach. You can get this from Target. It is a great corrector. And then I'm going to use the Beauty Blender to dab that out. Yes, that's the only dabbing I ever do. Because I go hardcore, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Corrector in Peach to cover up even more of my darkness. This is going to look a little bit orange, but do not worry because we are going to put concealer over it. And then I'm going to use the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in Fair Neutral. And after putting on concealer, I'm going to use the NARS Translucent Crystal Lighting Powder in Translucent. And I'm going to bake my face, I guess you would say, but I'm really going to set the under eyes and anywhere that I feel like I need setting. Then after that, I'm going to use this Inglot Contour Shade in 504. This is a great shade to contour with and to really hollow out those cheekbones. Then after that, I'm going to use Hoola to bronze the face and to contour a little bit more. This is such a great bronzer. I'm honestly in love with it. And then I'm going to prime my eyes with the NYX Proof It um, eyeshadow primer. And then I'm going to use MAC Kid eyeshadow, which is a great transition color. And I'm going to blend that into my crease and upper crease to give that nice definition. Then to really ensure that everything looks seamless, I'm going to use Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. As you can see, it is very, very well loved. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. I'm going to blend that into the crease with a Morphe 511 brush. And then I'm going to add Peach Smoothie to the crease as well to add some warmth. Then I'm going to use the MAC 224 brush. I'm going to blend even more to really, really make sure that this eyeshadow look is seamless. Then I'm going to use Latte by Makeup Geek to put in the outer crease of the eye and the outer lid of the eye. And I'm going to really blend this in and to make it look kind of smoky but really soft also. It really is just going to give a lot of dimension to the eye. And then after, I'm going to put Barcelona Beach to add some depth because it is a cool color. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm really, really blending things out to make things look really seamless and blended and perfect because it really is important when you're doing such a look like this when you're having a bright color in the inner lid or at least a shimmery color in the inner lid. Then I'm using the Stila Smudge Proof Stick um, Pencil in Kitten and then I'm going to use the Infallible Eyeshadow by L'Oreal in the Ice Latte and I'm going to pack that on the lid and as you can see it is very shimmery, very stark and it is just so pretty and beautiful. I'm really going to ensure that this shade is packed on the lid and it's going to give a really nice punch and you're really going to see this shade. After that, I'm going to use Kid Eyeshadow and put it on the lower lash line and I'm going to really smoke that out and blend it out with a Delium Tools pencil brush. Then I'm going to use this Inglot gel liner. It is a blue one. I'll give the name down below in the description box. But honestly, I was out of focus and out of the frame when I was doing the liner, so I apologize. But I'm basically just doing a normal wing liner. Then I'm using the Lime Crime um, liquid liner in Blue Milk to um, brighten up the... Um, opacity of the liner. Then after that, I'm using the Dip Brow by Anastasia in Caramel on my brows. And then of course after that, I'm putting on falsies. Again, I was out of frame when I did them, so I just kind of showed you how they looked. And then I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational, the black one, on my eyes. Then I'm using the Morphe 9B palette, and I'm using that bright pink color. And then the top middle pink color on the cheeks and then of course this is possibly my favorite part of this look and it is the jeffree star skin frost highlighter if you cannot see my reaction i'm dying literally i'm dying and it is just absolutely gorgeous it like you can highlight from the gods it's really so beyond beautiful and i'm just highlighting the face and really making sure that i have that summery glow after that i'm using the mac prep and prime lip primer to prime my lips because i'm going to use some liquid lipstick i'm using jeffree star doll parts liquid lipstick this is honestly so beyond beautiful and then i'm going to dab in some i'm nude by jeffree star on the inner part of the lip just to give a little bit more dimension since I kind of have no lips at least that's what the haters say <laughs> then yeah that is a completed look I hope you guys really like it I love this look and thank you for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe and I will see you very very soon